All right, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your rain barrel. Now we got a rain barrel here, and I got this pipe here I got at uh, Lowell's or Home Depot or someplace like that. Uh, I actually have one there. This one's that one there is less uh, rain uh, weather colored and faded. Uh, and I just have the water go there. But if you want to have a rain barrel, you can just simply run the water off of your your uh, east trough and into that so you just have to the way i got mine set up here is i have a piece of of the strain pipe here and then just run it in to this and maybe put some duct tape around that to secure it this to hold it into place so it doesn't swerve and move around i just you know just drilled a little screw screw through it and then um uh and now we'll just hold it in place. When, when it's in the right position there, the water will run right into this part here, which runs it down there. It rained once before I've hooked it up, so I've got a little bit of water in it. I might just rinse that out. It gets pretty nasty in there. And then I usually just store it in the shed over the winter time. Now it has this drain. How it works is also when the water gets up to about here. The, oh, this thing is starting to crack on me. I have to go get another one of those at the hardware store. Uh, the watt bit will probably still work pretty much if it's just there. This plastic just weathers in the rain. And then it'll just uh, run down like that. You can even attach a little different hose or something and just have it run all the way wherever you'd like it to run. Faucet to it. Now the pressure won't be as good as like uh, when you're uh, running off of your uh, uh, water, but it'll at least it'll cause, uh, cause the water to go to your garden where I'm just going a few feet right here. This is the garden at my house. Satellite garden slash garden. Um, and uh, people people always say, you need to mow your lawn. It's like, uh, that's a garden behind my dish. Oh, dopey me. Didn't realize uh, I just had to take this part off. I don't have to climb up to the top now. Good to know. All right. So there it is. Now you want to try to get this so that it's not getting so close to your house. But this is a great way to conserve water and save on water when you collect your rainwater with uh, this barrel. And these tops are amazing because they keep, you know, from mosquitoes and bugs getting inside this mesh net. And I just uh, drilled a little, so instead of using duct tape this time, I guess I smart enough and just uh, use a little, stuck a, a screw through it, secured it so that it won't fall down or come loose and make it much easier. <laughs> and I uh, didn't need to go up there. So yeah, just have it run there. The water runs into there, into the rain barrel. When the rain barrel overflows, just runs out and runs away from the house. And that's a great way of conserving water and using it for your garden over the summertime. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and share with all your friends and tell them about how great the greatness of rain barrels.